Oh, there we go. I'm actually surprised you were able to find the name in, on the black screen. Yeah. <laughs> like, just blended in. Please! Huh. Stuff to do. Stuff to do. What do you look for with roots here? I don't know, I don't even know what's been used. I'm trying to think of what's... Okay, a second swipe mm -hmm. is good. Um, it was a cartoon warrior, right? Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to let it load a bit, just because um, I am spectating both, but it's not. it doesn't seem to be working. No yeah. mm -hmm. Maybe next game it will be a little better, so at the meantime we're just going to spectate the league hitting. So he's just making a bunch of minions. Making a lot of minions is quite good, yeah. D does this play around Brawl? I don't think it does. No. But I don't think you're worried about Brawl with a hand like that. Um, I think he was just setting up for a better Soul to Force turn. But yeah, as we saw, his turn, his board just got completely removed. Uh, yeah. Oh, there oh, we go. There we go. That's something to do. The Chosen? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Looks like he might. Oh, he's trading both one ones. He's just gonna go straight into this. Yeah. So. This is ridiculously weak to Ghoul. But if he Brawl says... Um, I know some builds oh. were running Revenge. No, Brawl would have been terrible there. Like, you'd, you'd never Brawl that, that yeah. board. Unless you're really pressure, afraid yeah, of Savage yeah. or... Even Soul of the Force right. is kind of scary, too. Yeah, Soul of the Force would have been backbreaking. Yeah. So probably just going to see the Starfire Hero Power yeah. face. I like that as well. Not much use of the Soul of the Forest though, but a lot of people do play that mm. card, but it tends to be very um, swingy if you do get it pulled off. Yeah, Power of the Wild is definitely good here instead. Develop a creature that trades with the goal evenly. Would it set you up for another potential lethal? No, you're still short mana. So short mana. Like, he always seems to be short. Well, okay, he could have swiped. Savage War, Power of the Wild. We're not 100% sure how many spells he's been playing yet. Not that many. Yeah, not that many. He just got turned in. Okay, this isn't bad. It's Ooh. actually insanely good, as long as he doesn't Coliseum. lose. Coliseum! Oh, Kabbalah's Tomb too. Upgrade looks okay. Yeah, this is yeah, good. Looks, oh, Lightning Bolt, 4-3. Where's it going? Oh. Where's it going? Where's it going? Wow. That's a pretty good that okay, pretty, uh, Yogg had nothing going on with it anyway. Okay, now he can copy his Yogg. Okay, now he just oh. has dead cards in his hand. Okay, wherever it's going, it doesn't oh, matter. He heals up Yogg too, it gives him a time. Wow, that was a pretty good Yogg, and he just go face with this for 4 damage. So yeah, cheap Yoggs are usually the best Yoggs. Or not cheap, but, you know, early Yoggs seem to be the best yeah. Yoggs. Reduce the chances that your hands are just terrible, but he did pick up a shatter, which doesn't do much. <laughs> yeah, there's no way possible that he could actually <laughs> use shatter. It's a bit awkward. It's just always going to be a dead card in his hand. Uh, so the follow-up Nixia is that where you want to be, or is it better just to lead with Emperor? Okay. Okay, so it's double dude. So by doing, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'll be pretty afraid if that actually happens to me. Okay, so I think it's teacher swipe turn. Oh, emperor turn. Oh, he's going with emperor. So that yog is a uh, fourteen, fourteen. Yeah. He's not dead yet. He's not dead. Yet. <laughs> not dead yet. Close, but not dead. Pretty yeah, close. close but not dead. Okay, so the Cthulhu is there. He's just gonna go for it. So that means he probably has Doomcaller in hand as well. Or a weapon. Wow, it actually just killed the, the Emperor straight up. I think he actually wanted to do one more damage to face, so he could have killed him with 4x. Well, if that's the case, it would do more. But, I mean, how does Druid deal with this? I think it would have been better to actually open up with Nourish, right? Yeah. No, he doesn't have enough mana. I don't think he has any other place with this turn for that if he doesn't get it. 
Getting the mulch? Is this the mulch? Guess, I guess oh. there's still... Yeah, mulch is another possibility. Um, so you slow it, roll it, the rope, and see yeah. what happens. Or, or, or you might think that uh, Deadly Kitten is just being aimed. Fireball face. Yeah. Oh, fireball face. Yep, fireball face. Fireball face. So he found the best way yeah, to concede. Sylvanas and stealing his rag. Because that's how it should always work. Ooh. Okay. Is there a world where you just go Roots, Innervate, Power of the Wild? Roots, Innervate, Power of the Wild. Depending what class I'm playing against, but... Playing against Freeze Mage might, might be pretty good. He knows he's playing Freeze Mage, or he, has an, he had an opportunity to know it's Freeze Mage. So, uh... That hand's not looking bad on the freeze mage side. He has things to do. Lots of things. So maybe we are going to see the, uh... Nah. Okay, so... Is hero power better than playing Notvis? Ooh, just going dupes here. I wouldn't say this is aggressive, yeah. but it's something. Yeah, it's something. You know, if you're gonna do something like that, like you're not gonna kill it just with why with two one one. So wild growth, definitely wild growth. But it's not even two one one. It's just two one ones against roots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two one one. It's a one drop card going to uh, the doomsayer there. Not exactly, you know. Oh, Mire Keeper. Crazy, gaining mana. Choosing to draw? Yeah, you chose to draw. Looks like oh, you know, he, got, draw. he got another Nori, so that's not that bad, too. Oh, that's perfect. So... My option would have been the draw that would have given me the power of the... Or no, yeah, the power of the wild as a way to develop on the board after gaining that two additional mana. So you actually, you're starting to flood the board back. Or you have something to contest the... Uh, Nourished last turn to gain two mana. Like he would have been able to develop on the board, and then he would have drawn into the second nourish. Of course, he didn't know this. Scarab? Question mark. I think mean, Gal does sec uh, answer yeah. the second. Yeah. It also deals with the acolyte. Like you don't really want him to draw either. Well, that is yeah. true. Maybe oh. shutting that down, and it allows you to root mm -hmm. this turn. But he looks like he's not even going to go for that. Probably go for the two two. So he actually. He picked the, the scarab. Okay, so this, or actually three. Yeah, there's three opportunities to get deals. There's Earth of Farseer, Nur, uh, not Nourish, but uh, heal for eight or gain eight armor. There's so many options. So many options. That seems to always be a problem with the decks that. Know, have discovery and stuff like that. Yeah, like, like there's so many RNG involved, you're not 100% sure, love, like, which is the correct play as well. Feral Spit's really good here. I mean, not Feral Spit, uh, Feral Rage. Uh, Feral Rage allows him to counter Alex Straza and just gain 8, like, not really kill Alex Straza, but allows him to go back up to 23 after getting hit with it. Start to fight, you know, and they um, I feel like Claw was an option yeah, there too. Claw's definitely an option there. Gain two more armor, another heal. Heal two. Not ice block. Not ice block at all. Wow. This bug hasn't been fixed Actually, yet, like the halo around the druid. That and Deadly Kid's just going crazy with scrolling through his hand, so I'm being like attracted to it even more. So we're, so we're gonna see a loot order, just get as much draw as kind of possible. We're looking at the ping at the 1-1, one, one, which is reasonable, because you don't want a, like a free trade with a 1-1 one, one into the like, loot order, you want something else being traded. Well, it's not even just that. No, just draw. draw. Like, Straight you up. don't need mana. You already, like, that option of drawing, or not, not drawing, but going into something like mana excel, like, it passed. Like, he already had a good turn with it, he, he passed yeah, that that's kind of true, he is already, already quite ahead. Choosing to go with Blizzard seems like a really awkward turn for it too. I don't know if I like that because then he has to, he has to, he has to ping. The board's got to be frozen, and it's easy to clear the no, one. No, he, he has the answer. Yeah. 
story. Like, he already has the answer to the Doomsayer. Like, he has, uh, the Wrath plus the Feral Rage. Um, and the Mulch. I think the only thing he's scared of is the second Blizzard. Still not even that great. He did go with the Man Excel, right? No, he went with the Pick a Token. Ice Block Pickup. That was pretty big. He uses his Hero Power. He also developed a Frost Barrier. Did he actually have to develop the Ice Block that turn? Like what? He need okay. He has the Frost Bolt. He has the Fireball. He so and the uh, the Thalnos. Oh man! How much damage is that? Look at that! Look at that arm! And also doing tons of damage oh, at the okay. same time too. Okay. He top deck Trash. <laughs> That's gross. How does this go wrong from here? Like, gaining that much armor. So he needs multiple turns to fight back. See, like now he's forced into using the Ar the arcane intellect. Wasn't really that likely that he was going to get to play. Ooh, Ooh. That's something. Wow. wow. But Fandral? He's gonna like, yeah. Even pumping up the Fandral too is just super dirty. Yeah, Fandral? Wow, that's amazing. Wondering what order they come in. It makes the one once, then they get plus plus. I guess Flame Strike wipes up this board easily. Flame Strike? What Flame Strike? Yeah, High quality, no flame strike. And then you see him top decks flame strike. That's pretty funny. Is there a doomsayer? Uh, I don't ever. No. Okay, so there's actually no fear. No fear. No fear at all. Well, even. I don't think there was anything to fear, because if he does see the uh, doomsayer come down, he has the mulch, he has the. Uh, Savage Roar plus oh. Wrath. Uh, like that was the card that everybody was cutting, just because it just doesn't do anything when it costs well, seven. He decides to use you it. either loses you. I think that's the only but, card he loses to. That's why he's using it, using it now. But Thalnos still clears everything, but the Fandral. Yeah. If Flame Shark is played. Dead, yeah. All right, so we're gonna see Alex Rouse and people. Could he see the bolts? Could he see the hero power? There's a lot of ways to remove this. Ooh! Right By the way, um... Now Geddon was actually able to pick up lethal those last two turns with picking up the Ice Lance and the second Fireball. Ooh, man. There's gonna be a lot of damage next turn. Okay, so he's using the... the least healthy minion to actually go trade into the Alex. Fair. He's gonna go for the Yogg, just so he could get some heal. I like it, I like it. Hero power. Oh. Well, if he was doing this play, was there a way to put his opponent down to one and not pop yeah, the lock? Yeah, he was already down one and not pop the lock. Okay, Hedgecrack's good. Come on, Dart. Oh. Dart. Dart. <laughs> no, what do you want? Dart. 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 Oh, Bash? Oh, oh that was no, good. No, 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 I can't go to that but, face because no. it's immune. That's why. Oh, oh wow. So yeah, it would have been better if he played Yogg first. I feel you always play Yogg before you pop oh, the pretty good. I think you always yeah. do that. It seems like it, yeah, it'd be more of a correct play. Like we saw um Who did we see last last game? Uh it wasn't Nasa, was it? No. Yeah. It was Kid. Oh wait, no, 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 it was Nasa. What about Nasa? Like, we, we saw it multiple times now. But like, just trying to get that flare out, like, this seems like a possibility. It's always an option that could happen. Like, if you have a guaranteed way to just pop your opponent's block outside of, you know, Yogg healing your opponent, it's probably better just to not pop block first and just put him down to one so you can kill him with your hero power, especially when you're innervating in, out at Yogg after hero powering. Mm -hmm. Seems more correct. I don't know. Like, why not give yourself that opportunity to straight up win if you're just gonna go for the same play anyway? Huh. So, yeah. Roots, turn one. Not as good as a uh, totem golem, turn one.
Do you power the wild here? Yeah, I think power wild is not bad. You do have a little bit of advantage. B2 or 2 2? Good question. Very good question. 3 2 does allow a little bit more damage, but yeah, this is sturdier in a sense. But it has more immediate damage by making them into 2 2s. Yeah. And now they don't actually die to hero power. Mm -hmm. But I think we're gonna see wild growth here. Probably see. Probably not teacher next turn. Yeah, probably not. Wow. Both players have really weird hands. They do. I kind of like swipe here, I guess. Nah, oh, teacher contests this thing. But it gets easily removed, like, easily by a simple path. Oh my god, that's such a huge yeah, teacher turn. I, I, you can even wrap the yeah. one here and then just trade the two two twos into the, the um, teacher and you get a one card. Uh, I think it's better just to do this really. I think. I'm yeah. drawing with the villain left a little better. But... I like having a board more than mm -hmm. drawing. What, against this matchup or more in general? Just in general. Oh, I guess you have Savage Roar, so it's like, not that bad. This board is less weak to swipe than just trading in your two twos. Because then, like, if you were to do that, yeah, swipe would just immediately clear your board. Oh, well, yeah. Especially if you know your opponent has yeah. coin. So, like, now he actually has a 2-1 instead of just losing his board straight out. But, yeah, he doesn't have much going on right now. I think now, Gu not, now Gaiden actually has something going on. Like, he is on curve. He can even throw down Emperor. And then, uh, Deadly Kid only has... This size, is looking like, very board. bad for Deadly Kid. Yeah, don't even decide to round two because there's nothing really in this hand to play. But um, we're gonna see a Torison come down here. Because he can even uh, play the Ancient of War next turn, and which would give him tons of health back in this sense. I think you just go Drake. You go instead. Drake instead? Whoa. Yeah, because then you get the hero power kill the 2 1 if it decides to live. Looks like we're just gonna see. Trade or just all face? Wait, is that lethal? That's probably like yeah. I think you're at the point where you need to go face, but yeah, he just has lethal. Mm -hmm. that, was well, sick. that was out of that was nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> no, no, I said he has savage roar. That's why he wants to do consistent and develop the board. Leave, like it would have made a worse teacher turn, but then it would have given him a better teacher turn for himself as well. Could have just made two twos and had teacher. <laughs> Gone. Maybe keep it in game Doesn't box. do anything in this matchup. Nope. Well, I guess yeah, he does. He has but some yeah. Point. Like I don't think he does anything. Besides, I guess it counters roots. Yeah. He has a coin to use it, so I, I like it. It's not bad. As a two drop, I guess. And then you have the Earth and Farseer to heal it after you kill the roots. But <laughs> it's just gonna be a, a two drop into a two drop, I guess. Yeah. I, I think I like tapping more. Like I think. You need to just build that infinite resources up. Oh, this is looking pretty good. But yeah, pointing out yeah, the game boss. Yeah, into it. Not bad, not bad. Give some answers against... Is Drake good here? I think you really, yeah, I think you could afford to wait and just play Emperor next turn. It's like, I, I really wanted to play Emperor there, but it was not an option. Mm -hmm. So I, I like his patience, like, just waiting. Okay. Well, this is an easy uh, Emperor turn. Wow. Yeah, just, yeah, this is just the Emperor turn. Oh, he didn't mute. There you go. What is going on here? Um, go with Drake. How can this lead bad for him? I don't think it can. Is the teacher, if he goes teacher, he could actually do nothing. This Twilight Drake is really troublesome. He's going to be able to kill the Emperor with it. Needs to find a way to trade it. I guess he could go a living roots, trade into Drake with his Emperor to kill it off. Then we're gonna see the mortal call come from Deadly Kitten. 
Yeah, probably. Five yeah, minutes. I would see that. Yeah, probably. I guess that would also lead it to uh funnel kicks. Yeah, let's see what we draw. No, I don't think it'd be funnel kicks. Yeah, I think infested. it'd be the infested. Yeah, it could be infested. Yeah, you don't really want to die the like imp gap loss. Like imp gap has no value if you can just trade it off upright. Uh Yes, to extend, but I think you need to actually start finding ways to play your uh, death rattle minions. Has to happen at some point. Like, it seems weird, but this gives you options with, against the Drake, too. Like, Funnel Kicks would have just been kind of awkward, I want to say. Yeah, it would be. It would be really, really awkward. You you have no way to deal that additional one damage besides trading in your M King mm -hmm. boss instead of Drake. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa, I guess. Hey, and you know that the like the Druid has multiple ways to pump his Drake or tokens or deal damage in some way. Like I kinda like how the Yogg Druid is all over the place. In between like it could create yeah, huge works. boards with tokens and pump them up, or it could actually just start killing minions and stuff with spells. And sometimes it's spells that they don't even main board. It's yeah, like and they have a star. Ooh. Like we see multiple star falls. Uh, I think you trade it to the Drake. Tap funnel cakes. Huh. Choosing none of the above, giving them the chance to restock. I don't know, like, Reno Lock itself has so many ways to remove it. Yeah, Ancient War is a little better, in my opinion. And I don't even think you trade here either, you just go face. I don't think you play Thalnos here either. Like, I, I think... He probably thought about using Swipe plus Thalnos. Like, Swipe face for 5, Hero Power, kill Thalnos. Mm -hmm. Or not Thalnos, uh, yeah. Earth of Farseer. It was, uh, like, a route that he was probably thinking about. But just ignoring the board, not playing any spells, waiting for a bigger board to use that swipe on is probably way better. See, now he's able to trade it to his teacher plus the swipe. Ooh, now he can even get even more possible card advantage. Yeah. He could actually go uh, Wild Crows, <laughs> give himself 10 mana next. Yeah. If he really wants swipe, trade teacher. Okay, maybe Thaldos is not good here. You just... No? Okay. I, I, I keep trying to find a possibility that you can clear the board fully here and attack face for five, but it's just not possible. No, it's possible. You, okay, no, it is possible if you don't... If you don't wild growth. Yeah, if you don't wild growth. You can still use hero power. There's no need to wild growth. It's just not... Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get more value out of the teacher. I guess question is, degree. will we see a twisting nether here? Probably, right. Seems good. Your opponent has two cards in hand. Yeah, but nobody knows that's going to be rank. Well, he's not even afraid of rank at this point. Oh, yeah, that's true. He has the arena. That's true. Oh, so he's... Okay, that that's reasonable. I like that play. The board is not good enough like for a twisting nether, so... I think that might be leading... Uh... Now got in into a terrible situation with Rag coming down this turn. And then that will guarantee the Twisting Nether. He also has Drake to follow it up too, so it's definitely not bad. I guess you could Drake. I don't know why he's planning on attacking with the 1-1 first. I don't know what he's trying to bluff. Oh boy. Bluffing. The game of Hearthstone, you can actually bluff, even though you don't see the opponent's... Uh... Face. Crazy. I mean, any game could bluff. Chess could bluff, even if you don't see your opponent's face. It's all about moves. In this case, he was pointing at stuff. He was thinking about attacking with a 1 1 first, which didn't make sense at all unless you had uh, Feral Rage. Yeah, this one here is quite worth. Quite worth. I was yeah. Twisting but at least you have the uh, Drake. Got a rag and a Ancient of War. Yeah, Drake plus Teacher plus uh, Raven Idol. Actually, Nourish seems better there now because you could actually get uh, Fandral off yeah. of it. I'm ready to learn. But I, I, 
don't disagree with just gaining a bunch of uh, value on the board immediately. Like putting eight power on the board is just way better. Oh, two, right? So that's six, seven, eight. Two, two, lethal. two to everything. Yeah, yeah, it's lethal. It's lethal. Sarah is lethal. So yeah, he's gonna go with three now. Apothecary is just, it's quite alright. Apothecary? Yeah. But it's a little weaker. It's a little weaker. I, I liked Reno because, which is more likely what you're gonna see in the following turns. But yeah, currently we just see this. I Though I, I'm really a huge fan of Shadow Flames of Honest, though. So that, that I think that's gonna be pretty good if we see like uh, Onyxia come down or something like that. That would definitely be pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Kind of running out of real threats to take from with Savannah, so like when you see the Zoth come down, it's like, is it actually going to do anything? See, like, look, now we're in that same position where like the Apothecary would have been insanely better because he would have taken uh, eight for that turn or twelve for that turn. Oh no, he only took ten, right? So he he was back up to twenty. So he tapped down to eight, like. I felt like it just would have done more. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen Wisp of the Old Guts, have we? No, we have not. We have not. So there's other ways that he can uh, restore the board. Well, that, like... Having a uh, double uh, Wisp of the Old God kind of just makes you forced to be playing uh, two Savage Wars. I think the typical builds are playing no Whispers, Wisps of the Old Gods. And only one Savage Roar because it's actually an early play. Like, it actually helps you kill off early minions like uh, Knife Juggler. Uh, mainly Knife Juggler because that card's a threat. Probably one of the better cards to be using. He can Savannah's in Shadow Flame and then next to follow with the Nassoth if he really wants to. Yeah. yeah. But instead, he goes with the. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. Which probably yeah, still yeah, this is a little fun. I like it. It. Leave you with the yeah, three sides. Yeah, it makes the Violet Sphere useless, so 3 1 is not really threatening to you. But it does um, remove the Shadow Flame and Savannah's combo, though, which is one of the better combos, in my opinion, just because it takes a potentially a big creature from your opponent when he does play it. I think the next one would be uh, Savannah's power, uh, power Overwhelming. Steal your big creature type mm -hmm. deal <laughs> that we see a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, Warlock does have a lot of good ways to actually abuse their death rattles with the Zoth. Despite not having that many uh, good strategies with it. I think uh, it was... Uh, Warlock was built more towards going for the Cthune route than the, the Zoth route, but... You just play the best of the, the Zoth cards is usually just the best way to go. It's like, Sylvanas is pretty good. Uh, Infestatorin, pretty crap, but playable. I mean, yeah, Savannah's is just your major hitter. Yeah. I, have no I know I, I like to play Chill Moth. Oh, is he go with for it. the power overwhelming here? Oh no, that's a Mortal Coil. No, you, you would have played the power overwhelming oh, yeah. first. Shield? Nah, stuff area protector is good here. Now your opponent's kind of like. Uh, it came from, obviously, Raven Idol, right? Oh yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if it would have been better to actually go for the stuff area protector. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Well, this does allow to you to push a little bit more damage, right? Because you're going to out the um, Savans anyway, so you're going to push, what, for 16 at the moment? True, true, true. Yeah, now you have Power of the Wild, too. Oh, I'd definitely go for this. Not enough Meyer keep for this turn, though. No, one else are you going to get a value? So big is this? A 10-10, smack face. I don't think he has an answer to this. No, he doesn't. Honestly. Yeah. Sure, he can trade it in and then replay um, Sylvanas within this hot, but that doesn't grant you, like, enough. He's already used the twist yeah. in the other as well. And the Shadow Flame. He also even decides to trade, too. Smart play. Yeah. Well, of course, he tapped. So he would have been after, at 28 yeah. after that. I feel like it, it would have set you back. It was set you up. Nagal Nugan actually had a uh, answer yeah. to it, though. The owl. Yeah. And 
with so, no possibilities of beating the boy.